talk about your ClickUp workspace. So as a client of mine, you will have a client dashboard, which is what we're looking at here, as well as a client list that we can share tasks and go into detail without over cluttering your dashboard. So first things first, here's my mouse. Let's follow the mouse over to your sidebar. So over here, you'll see your home page, your tasks, your notifications, and your dashboard. So to get to this screen, your home hub, home base, you'll click this little um, mosaic tile thing. Up next, we have our, let's go to look at this dashboard really quick. So in your dashboard, you'll see like what things will be here. So if you're a coaching client, yours, yours will look like this. If you're a social media management client, yours will have a few more things up here, but it's all essentially the same thing. So here is where we can share details on your client work that you can be updated with. So you could share your goals with me. You can give me items to review for your account. You can share priorities of the week. This can be both ways. So if I'm working on something for you, I will add priorities here. If you are working on something for me or you working on something for your business, you could put that here as well. You can also link tasks within your list by hitting the at symbol and then going up here and hitting tasks. Next thing you'll see your Google Drive widget. I will add buttons to your overall drive folder as well as your brand folder um, for easy uploading access and all of that style of things. Next, no matter which dashboard you have, whether you're a coaching client or social media management, you will have a widget that says how this works. This is the coaching client dashboard, so it has a different what to expect and how this works than a social media management client. And I will show you that here in just one second. No matter what package you have with me, you'll have the Slack chat access with, with me. The Slack link hyperlinked here is an invitation link and it's only available for 30 days. So if when you try to click this button, it does not work for you, please let me know and I will send you the updated one. You'll also have your Planoly here and then you'll share with me your login and we'll put it safely right here underneath. Up next, you will notice that you have easily accessible right here on your dashboard the ability to schedule a call with me so that you don't have to go hunting for the link it's just easily accessible right here and then of course we all love a spot to take notes dump an idea um, just easily from this desktop so if i were you i would bookmark this page and make sure you know how to get here so we can chat back and forth um, and share updates now i said chat but make sure that you know that if you want to chat and give me a push notification, utilize Slack for that rather than ClickUp. ClickUp is where we can stay organized as a team. Now let's go into the social media management client board just for a little example here. So you'll see your banner looks a little bit different. You're going to be approving content here, requesting edits, all of that jazz. I will show you a live client dashboard here in just a hot second but you'll notice just the odd slight differences here. Everything is still the same though. So your how it works looks a little bit different and will be specific to your package that we have agreed upon together. Still the same booking spot, Planoly link, take me to Google. Let me show you a live client dashboard right quick. This is a live client dashboard and as you can see, this client has an item to review, so she will go in and um, open this up so she can click it right here. It will open into a new tab and it will allow her to see the post that's ready for her review. She will then go in and let me know if they, she wants edits and I'll walk you through that process as well. Um, just so this is an overall over encompassing um, tutorial video. You can see we're telling her what items the team is working on so she knows what we're working on without having to ask us because who likes to ask those questions and be micromanaging, right? Um, but we also like to over communicate. So this helps us without pinging you multiple times a day because 
That's why you hired us is to take these things off your plate. All right, let's go and show you your list. So to get to your list, you will click this checkbox. You see it, how it says tasks. So yours will just show up probably as your name. And if you are a social media management client, you will have your social media content area. So this is Nikki's and you can see we're working on some content for her. These are not ready for her to review, but this one is. So when your posts are ready for review, we'll move them into this column um, and we will let you know that they're ready for review by putting the task link in your ready for review portion of your, your dashboard. So then when you click over, you'll get to see this. It'll have your caption, any notes, and then the attachment of the media here. Up next, when it's ready for edits requested, you can move it over here and let us know in specific what edits you'd like requested. And then you can see there is a spot for the approved posts when they are ready to go up. Once they're moved to approved, then we will move them over to your Planoly for you, get them all scheduled and squared away. Now, if you are a coaching client, your space looks a little bit different because we will just be working on tasks. So as you can see, Kelly's to-do list, we have some things that we're working on for her. So as we work on them together, she can um, at tag me in here um, and she can give me notes and let me know and then she can also give me comments over here any comments that are tagged right here for me will ping me it won't let me tag myself but it will ping me in my notifications so if you want me to get a notification of this update tag me over here maybe um, just let me know over in the description what's going on and make sure you tag me over here in the comments so we can keep chatting back and forth if you do my a, a approval or a review of something um, so if we were working on that it would be right here in the in progress and then when we're done with it we would move it to complete just so that there's a process we can see what we've accomplished and other things as we get into your client procedures and processes and tasks you may notice that you have different columns up here and that will be okay we'll talk about that as we add them but that is in a nutshell how to navigate click up don't forget your client dashboard is where everything will be. So if you joined with me when we had a client onboarding packet, then yours will be hyperlinked here so you can easily go through it again on what to expect. All right. Well, you guys, we got some work to do, so let's get to it.